The Nigerian government will need to take more serious issues of poverty in the country, especially with the ravaging coronavirus. This call is coming from vulnerable persons in the nation's capital who spoke at an event to support them with palliatives a few hours after Nigeria marked Democracy Day. According to the National Bureau of Statistics in its latest poverty and inequality report, the number of poor Nigerians is estimated at 82.9 million with northern states ranking the poorest. For some Nigerians, in the Damangoro in Nigerian capital city, life has not been easy. A non-governmental organization, the Green Aid Empowerment Foundation, therefore wants all privileged Nigerians to support government's efforts in eradicating poverty, especially in this era of COVID-19. What we are seeing now it's a reflection of uh, the global society or Nigeria we are in. People are hungry, people are desirous of the next meal. So it's a way of not leaving everything to the government post-COVID. It's a way of my wife and I coming in to contribute our little towards alleviating the effect of the pandemic on the people. Like COVID, we found out that a lot of people are yearning. A lot of people are crying. A lot of people don't have food to eat. Okay, the advice I'm giving to everybody, if you have, give the next person that doesn't have. Because that is the essence of creation. God created us to help our neighbor. Put smile in, this, in the faces of people that are crying. Even with the ease of lockdown by government in the federal capital territory, some residents here say they are still struggling to meet up with their needs. She's so excited and I pray that whosoever that make this provision that the pockets will not go dry in Jesus' name. The better more more. They put a, God will put a hand for a pocket for more. Our public uh, officials can be able to do similar things. I don't think Nigeria will be having a problem. Over 3,000 vulnerable people in Gita Mango benefited from this exercise tags post-COVID-19 parities but several more lives below the poverty line and hope that they will come their way soon. Okay, even with me. AIT News, Abuja. Sir, a maker 